What's going on, guys? My name is Eskimo, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Skyrim as Kevin the Khajiit. Now, where we last saw, left off, I am not entirely sure, because I haven't recorded a episode in a long time, and I believe I may have lost one episode of progress before I recorded this episode, but I... I just couldn't find it anywhere, but I was like, you know what, I, I've been feeling like playing Skyrim again. So I am bringing the series back full time for those of you who are fans of my let's play of Skyrim as Kevin the Khajiit. And if you don't know what it is, welcome. It's a hardcore role play. I haven't done it in a long time, but I am incredibly excited to bring it back. And I am bringing it back full time no matter what. And check this out. I think somebody may have, or I may have attacked somebody or... Wait, are these Stormcloak guards? Oh, I believe they have may may have actually killed this Imperial courier. But um, yeah, let's go inside of here and finish whatever quest I have because I'm not entirely sure of whatever quest I have because, like I said, it's been a very long time. But it is a hardcore role play, and I am feeling like playing some Skyrim. Going to be doing a whole lot of episodes and stuff like that. But wait, this is underground. Okay, so this is underground, so what am I supposed to do down here? Um, what have I gotten myself into? I guess that's the question I should be asking right now because, well, what have I gotten myself into? I'm going into a dump. Uh-oh. Wait, is that Vex? Oh, guys! Guys! Wait, that might not be Vex. Or the lady. That's the lady who's a part of the Nightingale quest line inside of the Thieves Guild. I'm trying to talk to you guys, so here we go. Well, oh, you can't really see my face. Well, here we go. So I, I, I believe that's the lady from the Nightingale quest line, and we're. I believe that's what I'm doing right now. So I am doing a part of the Thieves Guild quest line. So let's see what's happening with this guy. Was there something else? This should help Gal or translate Gallus's journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. Oh, it's quite the tale. It, it, it's so much more than notes. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Oh, over there? Okay, I, I, I lead the way, man. I, I'll follow you. I guess I'll stand right here. And her name is Carlia. That's right. Car Vex is another lady in the Thieves Guild. This is Carlia. So mm. I. Okay. This He's is talking. intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, but Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Ooh, that's not good at all. Anything about the Nightingales? Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the guild immediately. Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Okay. So, apparently Mercer Frey desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. And I'm supposed to talk to Enther. Maybe he'll have me deliver the book to the guild or he'll do it himself but we'll find out right now but you know i definitely love the quest line of the or not the dark brotherhood but the thieves guild and that's why i am a khajiit you know kevin the khajiit a lone abandoned orphan all in the land of skyrim so it's definitely interesting and i love the way i've 
role-played this, and obviously I believe I may have to eat. I don't know, because like I said, it's probably been months before I recorded the last episode. But let's go ahead and eat, and let's see, we just ate a piece of bread. Let's drink some meat, so bread and meat. I'm going to have to get a meat, aren't I? So some venison chops. Wow, that looks actually pretty delicious, except for that little bone right there. At least I hope that's a bone. Well, I'll, I'll eat around it. Om nom nom nom. So here we go. And time to talk to Enther. Listen, all I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Of course I will. Anything for Carlia, anything for my friends, so thank you, Enther. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. Uh -huh. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. So if I ever join the College of Winterhold, which is honestly... It's highly unlikely. I know it's a Let's Play of Skyrim, but it's also a hardcore roleplay. And it's not really in Kevin's nature to become a mage, but it is nice having the opportunity that if I were to become one, I do have a fence for my stolen goods because no matter what, I will be a unduly type character. I'll be a rogue, stealing stuff, just having my way and having a jolly old good time. But well, let's see what Carlyle wants. Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. So Gallus's journal mentioned the tw the Twilight Sepulchre. Any idea what that is? You've come this far, or so telling I see no me. harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. So why does it require that type of protection that we must protect it with our, li with our lives? I, I know it's the Temple of Nocturnal, but. What's so important? What does it hold? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulcher. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. So thieves and temples, it just doesn't add up. I feel like there's a part of this entire thing of what I'm missing out. Like, what could Mercer possibly gain from this? Like, Obviously gold and lots of it, but why would he betray his best friends over gold? I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. Well, I believe I'd probably understand it a whole lot better if there was no mystery at all and it was quite cookie cutter, but what would be the fun in that? So I guess I'm going to have to find out exactly the truth to it all. As a nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulchre. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Well, honestly, I could have mistrusted you the second you shot an arrow in me. I mean, you shot an arrow in me, I was working with Mercer Frey, and then you spared my life, so I believe I might as well go ahead and trust you because Mercer didn't really want to help I'll make me. for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. Okay, so In the, the meantime, Ragged Flagon. I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. I'll put it to good use, Carlyle. Thank you for whatever it is if the guild isn't willing to listen to reason you might have to oh a nightingale blade I'll put it to good use wait what okay so let me check out the weapon I'm using right now I believe it's the mace of Molag ball so let's see yeah the mace of Molag ball oh the nightingale blades worse Ooh. But it does look a whole lot cooler, and the Mesa Molag Ball honestly takes up just a massive amount of my screen that I don't want to deal with right now. But 
obviously I have to go to the Ragged Flagon, and I believe that's in Riften. And, you know, she said she was going to scope out Riften, so I believe that clues to it being in Riften anyways. So, it's a hardcore roleplay, so either I'm going to have to buy a carriage, I'm going to have to go there on foot, or something like that. But regardless, it's going to be... I'll go there in due time, but, you know, level 16... I, I, I checked my save file. I've been playing this for about 15 hours. So 15 hours of footage, that's definitely pretty awesome. I'm sure there's a time where I was not recording or something like that. Well, not doing something, but just sitting there like AFK or something like that. Maybe I was about to record and go to use the bathroom. So that time's obviously not entirely accurate. But regardless, and also that missed the possible missed episode. I haven't gone back and seen what I did in the last episode. I'm going to have to do that before I put this up so I can actually figure out what episode of my Skyrim Let's Play this actually is. But once again, guys, let's see where I have to go. So, um, yeah, it looks like this arrow is going to be ripped in. So I have to go to the Ragged Flagon inside of Riften so I can go all this way across the land but I could also take a carriage so let's see is there a carriage at Winterhold so I'm at Winterhold right now and let's see if there is a carriage or something like that that I can take I don't see anything so oh man I'm gonna have to make I might have to make this journey on foot guys that will not be good uh oh so yeah I'm I, I can at least sprint though, so I'll sprint and see what where my feet take me. So, you know, we've definitely had a pretty interesting episode so far. We learned a few things about the Thieves Guild. We um, talked about our next move. I got a awesome Nightingale Blade, and I honestly cannot wait until I get the Nightingale Armor because whenever I first played through the the okay, so whenever I first played through Skyrim. A long time ago, I was a dark elf. I played as a thief, and I, I, even though, like the fir very first thing I did was the thieves guild. What? Uh oh, who's this? But the very first thing I did was the thieves guild. I, I just kept the nightingale blade and armor throughout the entire game because I loved it that much. And uh oh, whoa! That was an awesome kill cam. Whoa! Kevin just jumped up into the air. That's probably the. I don't think I've ever seen that one before, so that was definitely really awesome for a kill cam if you ask me. And let's see, I believe, yeah. Okay, so that's healing. So that's good. So let's see, where do I go now? So, I gotta follow this road. And I wanna see what this is. So, what the heck is this? It looks like it might be a ruin of, of some kind. And I kinda wanna explore it, so. But it's actually nothing. I, I saw something on my mini map, so that's probably in this direction. So we're about to find that, I think. Or, or <laughs> at least I hope. So, okay, it's right here. So we found Journeyman's Nook. Uh oh. What is this? Never should have come here. Oh, Bandit Outlaw? Oh. I wonder if this is like a cave or of some kind or if it's just a little hideout. If it's a little hideout though, it's actually kind of cool, Journeyman's Nook. So, what? Borver? Who, who's this? Borver's Dagger? What is this? Is, is this like some part of the College of Winterhold or something like that? Why, why is he here? Oh man, um... Well, I found something. I'm sure it's part of a quest because why would a named character just be right there on the ground and dead? And, and it looks like it was his home too. So maybe it was his home. And normally, like the thought of that is like, all right, I can go to the College of Winterhold and tell them about Borvir because he looked like a mage. He lives near Winterhold. Well, this is actually pretty close to Winterhold. Maybe it was a rogue mage. Hmm. But yeah, he, I'm obviously near Winterhold, and you know, like my thought process would be to go tell them, but it's Skyrim, and it's probably not. Oh, uh oh, is that a. Okay, that's a guard. For a second, I thought it might have been another one of those bandits I just ran into a minute ago. So let's see. Hmm. Just following the road right now, and I think this. I, I believe this actually leads up to the statue of Azura. The statue of Azura is over there in that direction. So you know what? I'll actually go to the Statue of Azura. Not because I want to go there like I'm intrigued, but because 
I don't want to follow that entire road for in a whole episode. I kind of want to explore because I haven't played Skyrim in such a long time. It's such a beautiful game. If I just stuck to only the roads, it would be a boring series. And it would be a boring experience for me. Oh, okay. I was like, is that a dragon? But I haven't... I don't think I've done the mission with dragons yet, so I should be good on that. So let's see, kill this little ice wraith. So, kill the ice wraith. And right now we're going to be going up here. Is this the way to the statue of Azura? Okay, the statue of Azura is right there. So, hmm. I kind of want to go that way. But I, I will find this on my map. Okay, so I'll find this on my map. So if I ever wanted to come back here, it's just right there. I could come back and it wouldn't be that big of a deal, right? So it's just right there. I can come back anytime. Well, I can't fast travel actually, so I don't know why anyways i went here but you know what might as well find it and wow it's such a huge statue Jeez. okay so i think i might actually talk to the people and try to get the quest for the statue of azura and um i believe the legendary item i would get is azura's moon and star oh there's one lone lady lady up here so let's talk to her azura has seen your coming traveler it was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Not curiosity, but fate. Honestly, it was curiosity. I already knew you were up here, so that's not kind of fate or curiosity. I just wanted to explore rather than go along the road. And I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll go here. So, I don't believe in fate. Perhaps that is what you are meant to believe. To better serve your role as Azura's champion. Ooh. Do not fight it. Azura's prophecies always come to pass. To deny them is to go headlong into the darkness with no light to guide you. No light, huh? Well, actually, I really like that response first, because, like, Kevin, it, he doesn't believe in any gods. He, because he's had a rough life, okay? So he's had a rough life, doesn't believe in any gods, but that line made him question. It was like, wait a second. Maybe that is what Azura wants. Maybe I was supposed to go here rather than just take or explore and go off the beaten path because it's what I feel like doing. Maybe I was supposed to go here. So let's see. Um, very, very well. What does Azura need? So I'm just playing along because I am curious now because I know she said it wasn't curiosity that brought me here, but it's definitely curiosity that drives me to continue talking to Aranea Lineth. You must go it. to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Okay. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Okay, so Winterhold, not Windhelm. So I just came from Winter Winterhold. So let's see. Okay, so at least I know how to begin that begin that quest. I can just go to Winterhold, but I don't want to go there right now. I just want to explore. So that way seems to be a cave, right? But this way is the way I came. But it also leads to that awesome other mountain path that I really wanted to explore and I'm probably going to be continuing on with the Thieves Guild quest line so it makes more sense for me to go south so I was curious but I'm not curious enough to go and do that quest right now it's something I could do later on down the road but you know I don't I don't even know if that's like such a worth it legendary item you know I, I honestly forgot what the Azura Sun and, or Moon and Sun Sun and Star, I, I forget the name of it. Moon and Stars, uh, whatever her legendary item was, I forgot exactly what the perks of it were. So, you know, right now I'm just like, I, I don't care so much for it. I just want to explore. And, you know, Kevin's kind of cold up here inside of this mountain. So, I would like to find a shelter that I could go and explore sometime soon. So, I believe that I, I think I'm going to a dragon burial, but they should... Why? What the? What's happening? What just happened? Oh my god. Guys, what just happened? That, that's just like a foreboding sign. Oh man, 
I'm curious, what's gonna happen, refugee? Okay, so refugees, guards, what's up here? So I know it's a dragon burial, but there shouldn't be a dragon. I don't think I activated dragons, so there shouldn't be one here. But if I did activate dragons, I'm about to go fight a dragon, so that, that wouldn't be good. Uh oh, that, there's wolves right there. So I'm gonna get out my sword. Oh, uh, uh oh, no. <laughs> I didn't want to get in a direct fight with them, but they're actually kind of weak, so that's not that bad. Okay, let's see. Dragon burial right over this hill. Wait. Wait a second. How far away is this dragon burial? Okay. Okay, I, I give up. I'm not going this way any longer. I, I, could, I was just like, alright, it's just right over this hill, then I, I can't even see it. So, you know, I could just keep on going on and on and forever, and I could never, ever find it. So I'm just like, you know what? Screw that. Kevin is a lazy Khajiit. He wants to find cover and get out of this weather. So that's that's my main priority right now, right there. And this looks like a nice little fort to take some cover inside of. So we're going to be going over here right now, and hopefully I don't die whenever I'm jumping down the mountains, because that could potentially happen. Because... <laughs> I have a, I have some pretty bad luck if you guys don't know so I believe I I believe I'm gonna be able to make it so that's that's a skeleton isn't it so this fort's not even guarded by bandits or rogues or something like that it's guarded by the undead so this so this fort's actually kind of inter interesting so now I definitely want to explore this so let's see let's go on all right so we'll kill this skeleton up here. Oh, it's not even up here next to me. Okay, come on. No, oh, jump over. There we go. Alright, so we killed that skeleton. Where's the other one? So the other skeleton's down there. I believe... Okay, I got a mage over there. Okay, so we got mages. So it might be some a necromancer for it. Oh, Ascendant Conjurer. Where am I even at right now? This place is... This place is in it's interesting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I will not make a fine rug. You take that back. Uh-oh. 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 Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Come on. Come on. You can die now. Uh oh, guys. I just have a bad feeling about this. There's a potion of plentiful healing. Oh, man. I, I, I just have a bad feeling about this. Oh, my God. Oh, man. So... Oh my goodness, guys! I'm I'm actually feeling like this is intense right now. So I I I'm having a difficult time with them. So let's see, get out my bow and arrow. So let's see, hopefully this would help. Um, yeah, I need to, I need to remember the controls. So there we go, Orcish bow of arcing. Oh man, this is not good. They're not even staying in the same spot, spot so I can hit them or something like. Oh. Oh man, oh man, this is not good guys, this is not good! Kevin, Kevin's in a bad situation, no, 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 no. At least he's getting hurt though. The other guy, I don't I don't know what was up with him. Let's see, we hurt him, there's that other guy over there. Let's see, shoot him, come on, hopefully this hits him. Wait, is that even him? Yeah it is, I believe that's him, so... Yep. Okay, so we hit him right there, right? And what's what's I was gonna say like what's making me so slow? But that, that was just the fact that I was aiming right there. So, um, come on. Oh, this is not a fun time. I was I was hoping he was gonna go back to the right right there. Okay, so there we go. We hit him finally. Really, really, <laughs> really, mage guy. Yeah. We're gonna have this kind of night right now. Nope, we are not. Okay, so whatever he does reduces my stamina, and that's not good. Is, is this another? Oh my god, is that another one? I believe there might be two. Oh, I hope there's not two of these guys. Die now, please. Thank you. So, hopefully there's... Okay, that's just a skeleton. I thought there might have been another necromancer. Or ascended conjurer, whatever their name is. Okay, so I got out of the situation, thankfully. I had to run away. So, Black Mage Rogues, 
So there are definitely some necromancers, right? So there are definitely necromancers, and even though this place was honestly really scary looking, <laughs> just based on that fight I just had, like this is the entrance to the fort, like it's only going to get even worse as I go inside of it. So based on that one little lone encounter I just had, I want to explore more of it. So here we go, guys. I want to explore more of it. Let me, okay, let me see my face. All right, there we go. So, guys, I want to see more of it, and that will happen in the next episode of my Let's Play as Kevin the Kajit. Thank you all so much for checking out my Let's Play of Skyrim. And once again, guys, be sure to slap, well, actually, that's something I say in my Minecraft videos, but be sure to click that like button because it really would help me out. And also spread this series with your friends and, you know, tell them about it. You know, if you have a friend who enjoys Skyrim, pass the series along to him. But as always, you guys, I've been Eskimo, and I shall see you all next time.